uh, we will start our session with recitation of Umur Kitab Al-Fatihah. For today's session, we will start with a Faiz presentation, followed by feedback, and then we go for Mizan presentation, followed by my feedback. The game started with the E3. Um, like the basic setup uh, for the Khalid. Uh, so I study a bit uh, about the Khalid uh, opening and it is uh, same uh, whether he play as a white or as a black. Uh, so I, I played C5. Uh, just want to play like uh, controlling the center. Um, so Khalid uh, play uh, B3. Uh, the purpose of this uh, move is uh, to uh, getting the bishop out uh, to control the diagonal and also clear the bishop and uh, to castling queen side so i played d5 uh, Khalid played uh, bishop b2 knight f6 so i uh, getting my piece out um, to improve my piece <laughs> For Khalid played the basic setup for her, uh, for he. Uh, queen e2, uh, preparing to cast in queen side. Uh, and I play knight c6. Uh, uh, because this is not, uh, not my, uh, you know how to play against uh, this setup actually. Um, I don't have the, um, no, uh, long study for this opening so I just played uh, improve piece and control the center and also I want to play plan uh, to castling um, so Kali played uh, knight c3 uh, and then I play e5 uh, so controlling the center uh, using the three pawn uh, and uh, Kali casting here um, then I played uh, bishop e7 uh, preparing to preparing to castling and then um Khalid played uh knight f3 so uh as you can see here uh despite uh Khalid not uh playing the pawn um in the middle uh, to controlling the center like uh, i i do but Khalid actually uh controlling the center using the uh long diagonal uh, i mean um as um coach said before uh, using the bishop uh, you can uh, control the center using the bishop uh, like the modern modern theory opening uh, like um last and last and opening uh, controlling the center using the b3 uh okay so i played uh, bishop g4 which is i think a mistake uh, because I don't have a purpose here because uh, I think I want to uh, exchange. But um, when I think back, uh, after I move this, uh, I thought that uh, why I want to exchange my bishop um, to the to, to this knight uh, because this knight doesn't do anything. And also, yes, this knight uh, have, have the purpose uh, to attack the uh, pawn in e5. Uh, and uh, maybe later he want to attack pawn in e5 uh, using the bishop also but um i think this is a mistake because uh we we, we usually uh, don't want to exchange uh maybe some variation we have we exchange the uh, bishop but uh, i think it is better to keep our bishop uh, here because uh if if i take if i uh in the next move i take i take here uh, maybe uh khalid can take here and open this file uh and uh make it easier for khalid to attack me lah uh, so i think the best move uh, here d4 uh but i uh actually scared of this move i don't know why because um I usually don't play e5, uh, but uh, in this setup, I have uh, pawn at e5 and d5, and um, yeah, uh, this is the best move uh, d4 because after this move take, uh, after he take me, he take pawn. Uh, maybe uh, we can open this file, uh, this file. Uh, after we take, 
with uh, with the zip on uh, we can open this file uh, so that is the purpose of d4 uh, let's say if uh, the if Khalid not take this point uh, let's say Khalid uh, move uh, backwards so uh, I can move the knight uh, to attack this point uh, this point is uh, attack and then uh, cannot cannot really defend lah this point uh, if if we move forward uh, then checkmate lah checkmate uh, if uh, cannot they cannot defend lah um, if, if let's say you move here then uh, I get one free one free pawn and this is uh, actually actually a dangerous pawn to give uh, because after uh, the king chase back then I simply uh, retreat the the knight and I get uh, a semi op open file if I go to the queen here and attack uh, attack the this file all right so um, back to the conversation okay uh, Khalid actually move h3 um, attacking my bishop back so I move here which is I think a mistake because um, I know that uh, my opponent Khalid uh, want to attack king side. Uh, so after I move here, it actually I I losing my tempo because uh, Khalid can actually move this uh, this pawn, which is uh, in in this game he actually move here move here, and then uh, he get one tempo because after he move here I need to treat uh, retreat my my bishop. So uh, I give two extra. I, I like to extra move uh, for Khalid uh, to improve uh, his position uh, to attack me. So I think the, the best move here uh, is not to treat uh, here uh, because uh, pawn can uh, go here attacking my bishop, uh, my, my bishop uh, like I said before. So the best move here is actually uh, move, moving the bishop here down. So uh, when even even after the Khalid uh, play like G four move, uh, I can uh, move the pawn here and breaking uh, the center like I said before. If uh, if Khalid take, uh, then uh, maybe I can uh, take with this pawn or this pawn uh, opening the the file or opening the uh, gaining my uh, some space uh, for me. Uh, but I didn't do it yes uh, like this uh, like I said before oh, gaining some temp some uh, file so the pawn cannot uh, attack uh, because uh, I attack this uh, knight first uh, so maybe knight treat, retreat or then I can uh, protect my my pawn and also open my file semi file so that uh, I can use to attack uh, his king King side, uh, queen side. Um, so let's go to this move. Uh, bishop h5. Um, so Khalid play g4, attacking my bishop. I retreat. Um, and then Khalid play d4. Okay. Uh, I actually don't know uh, why this move is blunder. Uh, consider as blunder. Uh, uh, stop is considered as blunder maybe because uh, I have uh, time for uh, to to open my space I think the best move is here and after uh, after he capture back uh, maybe I can um, see ni ke uh, I don't know <laughs> 1.4 baan aduh Kante pula. <laughs> Never let me. Okay. Um, maybe I can put here uh, because uh, pressuring the the knight and also uh, get I have a file here um, so that I can attack uh, easily lah. Mm, okay. So D4. Actually, uh, uh, try to open this. Uh, then uh, the computer uh, suggests me to capture with the e-pawn uh, and um, 
in this position because I don't encounter this position as much. Uh, not not many uh position that I played uh have this position. Uh, I don't know what uh what what pawn I want to take. Uh, whether I want to 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 take with the e pawn or uh, c pawn. Uh, big. If I want to take the, uh, I don't want to take with the epon because I think uh, that is a uh, little bit dangerous, uh, because I don't castling, uh, um, I don't castling yet, and also uh, I think more about this pressure. Um, so let's say if I take with the epon, um, and uh, he take with the epon, um. Then the the computer said to just casting, and in this position, actually, I I have uh, seen uh, last night, uh, yesterday lah, uh, when I analysis, uh, why is uh, I have negative two uh, here, which is uh, black favor, because I think uh, this position is a little bit uh, open, eh, a little bit open uh, for for bishop uh, for black. Uh, black have this uh, bishop, which is uh, I actually quite strong uh, attacking this pawn, uh, and also black uh, can uh, really using the bishop here. I think um, so. I think I want to. I can. I can push the pawn to open the uh, the the file so that I can attack. <laughs> right. Uh, okay. Let's go to the. Okay, let's go to the actual move. Uh, I take with the C pawn to open the file. Uh, this is my uh, point of view lah. Okay, so uh, after Khalid take uh, with the pawn uh, at D4, um, I actually played E4. E E4. Um, I don't know. Uh, what is um, wrong with this move yet? Uh, but I think um, this move is considered as wrong because um, if he uh, if the the move here uh, if four, what can actually um, scatter this pawn uh, after this move like um, knight to e five uh, like this attacking the pawn and also uh, after attacking this uh, bishop and uh, uh, kuda uh, knight uh, let's say I take uh, and then after he take then this pawn is free uh, right now this pawn is protected with the queen and uh, and knight but after I, I move the knight uh, let's say I move here uh, this pawn is free uh, so I lose now so I don't take this um, and also this uh, this knight is very strong here uh, attack threaten to attacking my bishop uh, my uh, strong bishop uh, so that I can I doesn't have any um, counter with this bishop and also I lose my bishop pair one of my bishop um, okay so I just move here uh, queen f5 um, right and actually um what when what can also uh crash this pawn uh with the move like uh f3 uh because after move like f3 uh and then after like let's say like uh f3 uh white takes uh i takes and then um uh, white have uh very uh, semi open file which is very strong here and also let's uh, let's not uh, forget about this file also after i take uh, if i take with the pawn and then the pawn uh, if let's say uh, he move he move uh, the pawn f3 attacking my pawn at uh, e4 and after i take back uh, with the pawn um, the pawn here is very weak macam ni macam itulah okay so queen a5 maybe i have some i want to uh, counter his bishop because i think his bishop is uh, very uh, annoying uh, in the late games uh, okay in the end games okay so uh, but this is inaccuracy because uh, queen can move here 
Uh, okay, the purpose behind this move is attacking my queen and also um, if attacking my pawn. I can see here. Okay, uh, if I neglect this um, attacking, mm, okay, maybe, okay, maybe some random castling. Then, he can actually uh, capture my pawn and after I, uh, after I capture back his queen okay attacking the pawn and now uh, queen c3 which is I think um, eh macam mana nak kira I'll be okay ni take me oh take with the okay uh, so sekejap Uh, let's go back. Okay, here. Uh, let's. Uh, okay, I take here. Uh, queen takes b5. Okay, then after. But actually. Uh, doesn't have any. Um, chance. I mean, uh, I doesn't have uh, any move. Uh, the only move I, I have to take this queen because this queen is very uh, strong uh, oh, oh okay okay uh, okay if I cast sell uh, then this pawn is free lah. and also attacking uh, this this bishop uh, this knight uh, so that that is the white plan uh, so I have to uh, to capture so after I capture uh, uh, Khalid capture back with the bishop Uh, so bishop here uh, is attacking my my knight once again. Uh, so actually uh, Khalid is two piece attacking my my knight. Uh, so here I decide I decided to defend this uh, knight. So after if I let's say I castling then mistake lah. Uh, take take uh, up one point. Uh, at, at one point and this position is very good lah for what let's say I attacking this uh, bishop also the same uh, so Khalid uh, decided to play h4 because he want to attack my my to support uh, the attack of my of the knight why Khalid doesn't uh, attack my knight first Uh, okay, if Khalid attacking my knight, then Khalid can capture right. Uh, but um, I have I can capture back uh, this pawn actually, like uh, something like this, and then this pawn is uh, I can capture back lah. If Khalid capture, I can then capture back. Uh, okay, so so Khalid prepared uh, this pawn to support uh, g5 so i played uh, h6 okay g5 uh, khalid move uh, anyway uh, khalid move this pawn and i actually move the wrong uh, piece because i thought that um, actually i don't see uh, this piece can uh, can be taken and also uh, if 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 I, i if i take here Uh, in my point of view, if I take here, uh, then uh, if Khalid take here, then this this is uh, bad for me. <laughs> Let's say I take, I take, uh, then I um, I'm really scared for uh, for this file. <laughs> Even after I take here, um, Khalid take here, then Khalid uh, can check me again and uh, immobilize my bishop here. <laughs> And also, uh, let's not forget about this pawn attacking my my knight here. Okay, um, okay. So I move. Uh, I think wrong move. Uh, bishop to h5. The purpose of bishop to h5 is actually I want to uh put my bishop here and uh, of course uh, one of the thing is I want to attacking attack the, this rook uh, but I think that is uh, I think uh, not good lah because 
even if he give the rope uh, to me, he get uh, two piece. If, let's say, uh, take here, and then I cannot take because uh, take pawn. When if I take pawn, maybe he can take here first. Uh, then take. Uh, so white gets a uh, very good um, trade. So this is my mistake. Uh, so. <coughs> So actually, Khalid uh, take anyway uh, my my bishop, my knight. So I take with the pawn. Uh, so in order to chase this uh, strong knight here, strong push knight here. So knight takes, and I take with the pawn uh, to protect this pawn and also uh, chase this bishop. And then uh, this is the move that I did. I don't calculate. I calculate. Actually, I calculate here like this. Uh, if if we take the uh this knight, I take this with the pawn and I attacking this knight. And then after this knight take, I I attacking this bishop. But I forget uh, that this bishop can can actually uh attacking my my bishop back. Uh, if let's say bishop uh back here, then maybe I can um take here. So uh maybe I can play this position uh, but I forget that this bishop can actually block my 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 bishop uh, here uh, so I keep my bishop because if I trade my bishop here I then I doesn't have any counter left uh, I mean uh, this position uh, maybe my plan is I'm going to push push this pawn and uh, using the uh, my pawn here, um, which is I had more um, to counter back. Uh, maybe I want to push forward uh, to become queen. <laughs> Alright, um, so let's go back. Then I play here to save my bishop. Um, Khalid play h5, attacking my bishop. And then I play uh, move like knight uh, f5. Um, because if I put a, if I play the this move, uh, I think this move is very bad because after move like uh, this, uh, then I cannot move uh, my bishop, uh, or my bishop deactivate uh, I mean, not have purpose here. Um, maybe I have purpose if I uh, push this pawn, but it's uh, it will give the pawn free lah, mm, and. Uh, long term plan lah for me to push this pawn um, ok so I play here uh, controlling this square uh, so that this uh, bishop cannot jump here and attacking and controlling my file uh, at controlling this diagonal so I play um, Khalid play move here uh, to support the bishop here bishop here ok and then I undo sikit hmm Kali play uh, g4, play f5. Kali play uh, knight, bishop g, uh, bishop g2, bishop g5. I'm trying to close this uh, file because it is too too dangerous for me. I think this is too too dangerous uh, to let the Kali uh, get into this file. So I close it with the bishop here. F4, and then uh, knight, knight. A4, um, F3, uh, attacking this bishop. Bishop F1, maybe you want to uh, move here, trading my bishop, uh, my white bishop, because might be um, might be a problem for the white. Uh, so uh, actually here, white want to um, exchange because white have one one piece up, and then uh, with the exchange, uh, then white have uh, more more uh, things uh, to to do lah uh, and eliminate the counter that I have so I play f4 f5 uh, blocking this knight c5 attacking uh, this bishop and then I play uh, king e2 king e2 king e7 because I think if I uh, this bishop cannot move Anywhere, if I let's say I want to uh, save my bishop here, let's say I move here 
and then uh Khalid will 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 get this move lah h5 and then attacking my pawn and then my pawn uh lose lah i lose my pawn so i use this uh e7 king e7 bishop h3 want to attacking my king uh right so i move my king forwards uh bishop f6 bishop a6 attacking my rooks uh, then uh, rook c7 um bishop f4 mm, using the bishop to attacking my rook so okay macam apa ni okay so uh, i move here uh, which is considered blunder uh, for the stockfish Uh, but the purpose I want to move here because I think uh, I doesn't want to uh, after the move like uh, bishop e bishop to a6 uh, then Khalid cannot move to cannot attack this pawn uh, if I move here uh, okay before that uh, Khalid can move here to attack my pawn so yeah mana lah okay so I save my bishop Uh, so okay then uh, this is uh, Khalid plan uh, to attack my pawn so I I doesn't see first this plan so I play like this uh, which is mistake because I don't know if it mistake but uh, I think this is this pawn is necessary for me to defend um, because I doesn't have any pawn left uh, if I doesn't have any pawn that Uh, that will be a trouble lah for me but uh, Khalid have this move uh, pinning my uh, rook king then after I move here Khalid take uh, king takes bishop a6 um, I don't know maybe preparing to go back here attacking I don't know f4 I continue my plan uh, because I want to actually my plan is Uh, simple i want to move uh, my point forward because uh, i actually have three v1 here uh, but uh, even if i have a double point um, i think i can i can attack i have a counter here then uh, rook to h3 uh, preparing to attack my point if i move forward so i move here Uh, the reason why I move here because uh, actually I want to open uh, this file, uh, <laughs> this file, and also I want to rearrange my uh, position of uh, the bishop. Uh, as you can see, um, after move like here, then I usually I can protect with the king. Um, okay, move here. Okay, I keluarkan rook. Uh, knight b6 at b7 attacking my king uh, I my king forward okay okay and then I re reposition my bishop here uh, to put here bishop <laughs> if I put here then knight capture lah uh, I capture dengan rook uh, I doesn't have any counter lah uh, so that's why I I rearrange my bishop position uh, move here because i want to move uh, my bishop here and then i i want to create some space for me to attack uh, the opposition so forward okay c4 okay uh, <laughs> this is mistake for me uh, okay uh, actually i have been very i think yeah. okay after the move here uh, attacking my pawn okay then i pin uh, his Uh, king here uh, so the only move uh, for for him to defend uh, two move uh, here and king here but uh, if uh, white play root here and then uh, white we can this uh, root lah root dah cantik dekat sini control file tapi dia pergi sini jadi tak tahu cantik lah <laughs> so uh, this is my bad uh, because I actually I think I have think a lot of uh, time uh, to move here first but uh, in the real I I think 
I don't know uh, what is happen. I move here E3 and then um, Khalid can take lah my pawn. Um, actually the move here is to chase the this rook. Uh, maybe uh, rook can go here. So now I can put here uh, pawn to E6. After take here, uh, maybe I take here uh, and then this pawn is free lah. Uh, Undo makan. <laughs> Uh, so maybe I have uh, I can create some counter uh, using this two pawn uh, actually but uh, I move here first <laughs> then Khalid take uh, I take Khalid takes uh, root e3 then I take here okay so uh, I I have um Time trouble here, I think. Ah, uh, tu twenty second. Ah, uh, versus ah uh, versus one minute. So maybe the maybe I want to uh, okay blunder here. I take okay. I just move randomly. Ah, uh, not not so random because I have ten second. Okay, here ah uh, this actually. Um. Okay. Okay. This is a blunder. Uh, maybe because simply tactic uh fault lah, fault tactic uh using this bishop. Uh, so this is what uh blunder also because uh bishop here. Actually, the first the first blunder uh not so bad because after, even after move here, uh the uh rook can. Uh, move here to attack my bishop, so I can I take ah uh, bishop take lah. Uh, so sama lah. Tapi kalau kalau uh, if the um, if king here, uh, this is different story because uh, even after uh, fought here, after rook take uh, rook here, then I can fought here king rook. Okay, I can take rook. So advantage is, is on me lah. Uh, but I I doesn't I doesn't see the fork, so I I take take. Okay, this game is actually uh I resign lah because I doesn't have much much time one one second left, so that's all uh from me. Okay, so this is my feedback on Khalid and Faiz game. So Khalid open uh on e3, uh and then we go in the straight to the middle. Okay, so here. <coughs> okay, e5. Okay, so here you can see that white play uh, as usual unconventional opening with the queen on the e2, uh, typical of Khalid. <coughs> so in the far east, uh, on the other hand, uh, try to sort of like control the center. So in this problem, in this uh, time, uh, now the question whether you want to push or not, because in previous class, uh, in previous, uh, uh, when Khalid present his uh, his uh, presentation yesterday. Uh, we also uh, see this a little bit uh, more or less uh, similar situation. The question now whether white black can have advantage by pushing or not uh, in front. If you see in the Khalid game yesterday, Khalid and Faiz also, Khalid and Faiz also, but Khalid is black last time. So if you see that's, that game is more or less like this, If uh, I mean that uh, the opponent of Khalid have the option to push. So we see a little bit uh, the game yesterday. So like this, the game yesterday is like this, more or less like this. You can see, you can see here. So here, uh, the difference between this game and the game that Faiz just present just now is that if you push, the push here is advantageous. Because if you take, if you take, then you have this open file, you have this open file uh, ready to what we call to be used. So that's one thing. Secondly, if let's say, uh, you just for example you go the knight go uh, somewhere else this bishop can easily go back and then if you take and you have this a3 so you have this uh, advantage of this uh, white have this advantage of what we call using this open file and also the knight is sort of like offside here so back to the what we call back to uh to the game uh today uh in the game today the position is like this so the push now, the question is whether this push is beneficial or not. Now, if you see here, <coughs> if you push, 
<coughs> if you push like this and then you take 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 uh, this is not as advantageous as what uh, we see yesterday because now first this uh, file is closed because of this pound on the e7 and also what can push uh, put the knight somewhere in the middle and uh, what we call sort of like force the exchange so when the knight exchange exchange then nothing lah nothing uh, is not advantageous for black uh, at all lah uh, so that's thing so the push here is not really advantageous so Khalid play e5 e5 and then uh, 0 0 b uh, bishop e7 and f3 and bishop f bishop g4 Khalid said this is a mistake um, here uh, the best move is to push okay the reason why now this is advantageous is because if you take take and even you go to this n e4 same like b4 the different now is that this rook now you have this rook here this this thing is blocking this rook so this rook no uh, cannot really have any work here lah so it looks similar like before for example like uh here like here it looks similar but it's not okay so here so that's how so that is what because now uh, the pushing here uh, is advantageous because uh we call the black is uh, more what we call more readily uh, uh, have this what we call more readily develop lah than uh, white because even though white already castle his position is quite cramped here okay so let's go in the game so in the game um, black play bishop g4 and then h3 bishop h5 g5 and bishop g6 and here there are some basic tactics here so in the game uh, white play d4 okay but uh, white have this basic tactic and time uh, and takes e5 because when you take with the knight you have this f4 and try to sort of like this uh, uh, present this uh, bishop okay so that's uh, at least you get back with the more attacking uh, more attacking sort of like uh, configuration there Okay, so that's one of the basic tactics, but Khalid didn't do that. Khalid played d4. Okay, but, uh, Khalid played d4. So now the question here. Uh, question for the black for Faiz. Okay, so do you push or do you take? Okay, where the, what is the dilemma here? You want to push or do you want to take? If, let's say, you want to take, which one you, which, which pound will you take? So this is what is commonly uh, you will face during the game again and again. The dilemma of breaking the tension or closing the center like that okay you can choose either to close or you take which one is advantageous okay so in this case uh black play uh, c times d4 okay this yeah it's okay but if you take with the e4 e pound is much more advantageous it seems quite strange just taking with a different pound make a totally different evolution okay so uh, in the game uh, black play uh, taking by uh, c pound but the most advantageous one is to take by the e pawn why is that let's see so if you take like that you are not obliged to take again remember when when your opponent make a move you are not obliged to take in this game the best move is a uh, castle the king side so now you can see even though now if let's say what take the pound you take with the pound you have this uh, black have this what we call the isolated pound uh, situation iqp isolated queen pound situation iqp normally advantageous in a uh, middle game because you have a lot of peace even though this is isolated this pound is isolated that pawn is isolated but black have this composition in terms of this what we call this open file here open file here and also this uh, piece this piece this piece this piece this piece is become more active because of of this uh, file okay uh, in the game later on we will see the difference between this and in the game okay now if let's say uh, let's say now uh, black white play uh, uh, nh4 to take that uh, bishop okay uh, it just simply you have this what we call you, you see the, the the use of the open file when you have the assaulted uh, queen pawn uh, situation is very dangerous 
So rook e8 and then let's say queen go there attacking this bishop, attacking this bishop. Uh, then what to do? You have this uh, very nice tactic here. Take on the c2. Okay. Uh, but for this, it's easy if you have a uh, engine with you and so on. But in the game, that's very difficult to see like how come you get you give this pawn for free because of course you cannot take with the king because uh, if you take with the king then you have nd4 you fought this what we call this uh, this queen so but then even if you take with the rook here you take with that and then you sort of like saving your your what we call your bishop from uh, hanging by the queen so you get here and then let's say you go uh, white go to nf uh, <coughs> nf5 you can take and then you take and then root c8 okay if you count the uh, the what i call the the piece now it as if white have an advantage because now you have this uh, knight and bishop for a rook okay for a rook uh, white have this knight and bishop but then uh, the position now the initiative is with uh, black okay because you can see white, uh, black is quite uh, attacking and uh, you see now they are like a pin here and so on. So even though by value per value count, white is better because you have this uh, knight and bishop for the rook, normally it's better lah. But because of black have this initiative of the open lines, then this, uh, what we call, is, is significant that that uh, advantage of knight, bishop versus uh, rook doesn't have any significant here so for example let's say king go away from the pin you can just have this exchange sacrifice uh, king take back and then queen c7 and now queen starting to come in and do all sort of static for example if uh, king b1 and then you have this rook e, rook e1 and then you have this checkmate if let's say you go to king d3 in the middle of the board then the queen come in and you know all sort of tactics starting with this queen this thing and forking all this thing and all the tactic can uh, you have this rook join the assault and so on so you can see eh, by just taking with the e pound a lot of things happen because if you take with the pound you have this open file so that's the reason why taking the e pound is better in the game uh, far is take with the c pound Okay, it looks similar, but they are different. You see, eh? if you take, and then, uh, uh, let's say, uh, what we call, black take. In the game, uh, black push. But let's say, we remember previously, uh, black want to open the, what we call, the file like before. We see the different, eh? we see the different. If now, black take, it seems like similar like before. But here, you have this. The knight can capture, can sort of like, what we call, uh can can capture the black knight white knight can capture the black knight reducing the amount of the piece on the board the isolated queen pound is good when you have a lot of piece but when the position start to go to end game then isolated pawn uh, start to show its weakness because now if let's say knight take and then you have take the rook and nothing happen lah uh i mean and then zero zero uh this is not really as advantageous as before because previously you have the knight and the knight still you have the knight in the previous when you take with the e pawn you still have the knight but here you don't have the knight so you have one piece uh, 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 less lah i mean that uh, when you have one piece less then this thing this isolated queen pawn can uh, become nearer and nearer the game become nearer and nearer towards the end game and this will become the weakness not the strength anymore uh, so this position is quite what we call level we can say it's level previously the position that i show previously uh, the one that here when you take with the pound like this with the, the e pound take 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 here the position is advantageous of the to the what we call to the to the black even though now let's say you you put the what we call uh, uh, you have this, 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 this. Yeah, you, this advantage because uh, the knight, this knight cannot be exchanged easily because if you put here, then you can give free lah, give free knight. So that's the difference. You you preserve, if you are attacking, you want to preserve your materials. If you are defending, you want to give the material. I mean, 
to simplify the position. So that's the difference between C times D4, which is happened in the game, and E times D4. Because E times D4 allow, sort of like allow the, the, the exchange. A lot of exchange will be happened because of E, uh, 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 not E times D4 will not allow a lot of exchange because of this. C times D4 will allow the exchange because of when you take, uh, if you take, then the knight comes first. The bishop is not there to control this, this square. So that's the difference lah between them. But in the game, uh, uh, Faiz play uh, E4 and then e, and E5, okay, and E5. And then queen a5 and then queen b5. Uh, this is good move, good move by Khalid because uh, Khalid tried to sort of like kill any counterplay uh, by by Faiz lah. Uh, if not, the queen can do a lot of stuff and the bishop can go here and so on and attack the king lah. So this is good move by Khalid. Uh, sort of killing all the counterplay and then take take like this, okay. Even here now, the position is uh, pretty good for white because now you have the pin, this knight cannot be taken and so on. So here, at this moment, white have some advantage already. So now uh, you take, you go, uh, Faiz go root c8 to cover this in. The better thing is casting lah, get out from this, what we call, from the from the line of fire of, the, of this bishop. Although here, you might say that, oh, I give a free pound, take, take. But then you have, at least now, you have this open line to open file to work on. At least you have some composition for the pound. Compared to the game, this pound, in the game, you can see there are still pound here. Black, black, what we call black, black pound is here. And they are, because of that pound, it's difficult for, what we call, for black to attack the king. It's it just like uh, the pound shielding the attack itself. In this case, then the root later on can go here and do all sort of stuff. So sometimes this is what we call positional sacrifice to get something out of material given. Okay, uh, in the game, uh, what we call uh, black play root c8 and then h4. Now you know this thing is uh, now uh, will nearly get trapped, and and then you this uh, s6. Uh, in order to prevent the bishop getting trapped but when you do f6 you giving the hook this is like the hook now so now you have this g5 okay you giving the hook already and then bishop h5 okay this is whenever you your piece is attacked by the pawn please be sort of like wary lah because here this is what happened in the game you get the pawn normally more often than nine more often than not, when some a pound attacking your piece and then you try to do something else, please calculate very carefully. More often than not, uh, you will find that at the end you have this uh, a piece down or an exchange down and so on. In this game, in the game, uh, black play like this, thinking that okay, he want to win this uh, exchange and so on. But remember, if you take like this, you take like this, of course this attack now, but you have to uh, white have this uh, intermediate check whatever take and then this can sort of like prevent this uh, uh, be, uh, what we call this from from lila from exchange winning the exchange so if you count here uh, we can see that white is already winning in term of material okay so always be wary when something uh, attack uh, when you are attacked by the pound okay if you want to do something else, please calculate carefully. Okay. Uh, then, but here, even if let's say you take with the pawn also, it really doesn't really help lah because you have this, you have this, and then and go and h5, and then you have this, uh, you take that thing because you have this, this pawn really dangerous lah, really uh, make all the black position crum crumble lah because if the knight goes, like this and then you have this free pawn so actually it's the same thing you you take or you don't you do something else the position is already uh, not pretty good for the black lah it's not easy to suggest any uh, defensive move uh, for black because his position is already uh, not really good lah uh, but just here just be wary lah whenever you play when your piece is attacked by the pawn 
if you try to do something else please calculate carefully because more often than not at the end you will somehow uh, see that eh, I just lost one piece or down a piece and so on okay because pound when take something it seems like a good uh, investment lah. when pound take a piece then it's good investment if the piece like this take the piece then you still get the piece but if you a pound take the piece then you get like a good investment good return lah okay in the game uh Khalid play uh, Khalid lah. uh Faiz play bishop s5 and then take on that thing take take go here go here and because of this like I said before now uh, white just uh have this extra exchange lah. we call it uh when you have the rook over the minor piece the rook you have a rook and then you open and have minor piece we say that you uh this is what we call one two three one two three no you have one piece extra right yeah you already have one piece extra here you see it's not even an extra you have one two three you open and have one two and then this root there are two two so basically you have one piece extra i mean easy that's why i said when a pound attack your piece think very deeply if you want to do something else okay so because here suddenly you get oh they are a, a piece down uh. so bishop g6 and then h5 and so on bishop f5 root dg1 uh going to taking the file bishop e7 bishop g4 and then we just go uh, because we just go here go here go here and if i want to show until here actually here when you have this dragon bishop eh, when you have this we, I call it I normally call this thing dragon bishop lah a bishop that is fan keto uh, very, this very dangerous it seems like it's blocked but anything can happen for example here it just takes here then you just get ni lah because if you take then you have this thing so very very dangerous I mean if you have this dragon bishop or fan keto bishop even though that bishop looks close look uh, I mean in this close position blocked by the its own pound thing can happen very drastically if you are what we call uh, unaware i mean for example like this you can what can just simply take make a tactic eh? okay uh, in the game uh, uh what goes to uh, a4 and then uh, f3 and then bishop f1 f5 so let me uh, go through the move first uh, because uh, yeah let me go to move first until here okay so now this position eh? so in this case uh, white position is we can say is dominating lah is dominating okay but how white should proceed because if you look now white is one piece ahead eh? one piece ahead yeah of course uh, uh, black have this uh, extra pound uh, 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so white ha uh, black have 2 pound for a piece lah uh, normally the piece is 3 right so in this case the pound here even though it's intimidating but this pound is key this pound is key it's preventing anything it's preventing any push forward and so on and this pound this 2 pound this one this 2 pound also like what we call uh, this 2 pound is double so it's reduced its value so now we can see that because of that a piece for this two extra pound by black is better lah uh, given the circumstance of the pound itself which is not good in the structure like this uh, double pound and also this pound cannot go forward anyway so that's why the position here is good for white mm. but the question now how to sort of like how to proceed with white yes the position is good for white but it's not easy eh? it's not easy to win this game okay uh, uh, the you need to come what need to come with the plan eh? if your opponent make blunder yes it's easy i mean but what if your opponent what if black put a very stubborn defense how to win a one position that's really a skill for example here even though the position what is dominating is is not really easy to win okay it's not really easy to win in the game uh Black, uh, white play uh, bishop g4 bishop b4 in order to do this thing harass and whatsoever like that uh, but this uh, is just one move one move uh, attack only so easily be 
uh, what you call be parried by the black lah but still okay lah that, that, that still at least uh, white have plan okay rather than move uh, aimlessly at least he have plan he want to activate his own bishop that's okay lah at least you have plan but here the better way is you is to take eh sorry uh, the better way here for example here apart from bishop b4 the better way is to take on the uh, bishop itself okay because uh, it much easier to play as white if black doesn't have bishop pair eh? bishop pair so you take here and then you put bishop c5 and then the plan here is to move this pawn move this pawn move this pawn up fix this weakness there uh, fix the weakness there and then the king can go up 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 and then you create some what we call pass pawn on the queen side so that's the, the one of the plan lah uh, but bishop before still okay it's not it's not really bad you you want to preserve this uh what we call this knight but uh, having this uh play, playing against the double bishop also difficult lah uh, so that's why uh black goes to uh f7 uh, but this is a mistake lah also because it much better for black uh, because white also have bishop pair so it's much better for black to sort of like uh, uh what we call challenge the bishop pair of the white also so if you do like this and then you take you take yes we can say that white still have clear advantage here white still have a clear advantage due to his this dominating knight on the c5 uh and uh but uh at least uh it's much easier to defend when you are not facing against the two bishop eh? the two bishop okay uh so let's see uh so rook takes f8 so let's see how white can play so white can go here and go here and then you go bishop c5 you you same idea you fix the pound and then you try to move the what you call the pawn forward and if let's say if let's say white the only thing that white need to worry is is this thing the, the ability for this pawn to roll down but uh, here uh, white doesn't need to be worried because we have the white have this thing okay white have this thing let's say now uh, white follow with his plan going to e5 and black push like that so this is not uh, very dangerous because now when you push a pawn a weakness is created now this thing become weak lah so now you can go to the end root h3 okay you remember you are not obliged to eat okay even though now even let's say black push forward so black a uh, white doesn't need to be worried because this square here is easily protected the king can go here so for example the king can go c1 and it's easy you push the pawn here you make this bishop really bad and also because of you push the pawn, the king can go in and go in and go in like that. So even though it seems like intimidating, the pawn going down and so on, but it's really, it cannot do anything. And this pawn will be like uh, captured later and so on. It's very easy win lah for, for white here. So that's the reason uh, why this pawn configuration here is not really uh, dangerous for what we call for white lah. For white. So that's why um, uh, bishop f7 is is okay preserving the bishop but dealing with the double bishop also difficult lah. So that's why we uh, even though this is better defend but still white is still dominate uh, still dominating lah. It's difficult to to suggest a good move here, a defensive move here because anything that black do is very difficult to ni lah, to handle this position uh, because this what we call this knight here what we call uh, dominating here the bishop here cannot go somewhere here because if you do that then the white uh, then the what we call the white rook can have access to this g file lah, and do all sort of stuff in the game uh, bishop go to f7 and then bishop a5 we go here we go here you want to take that and then you need to preserve the pawn in the presentation uh, Faiz said that he want to preserve this pawn. Yes, this pawn is important lah. But also that's cause this uh, what you call cause this what we call the rook uh, be close lah. That the pass for the rook on the eight rank is uh, to making this bishop d eight is possible. Now white win the exchange. 
So go here, take, take, king in seven. Okay, in this position, uh, even though now you can say that uh, white have extra rook. In fact, yeah, extra rook. Okay, because you see there are two minor piece. Uh, black also have two minor piece. And then you have the rook. White also have the rook. And this is extra. So even that is very difficult to, to, what you call, to, for white to win this. Because there are no open file. They are not really... Because this bishop is really good lah in blocking the file. And also and also this also... The configuration here meaning that the rook cannot really show his... Uh, his advantage lah. Because rook is good in open file. So this is block, block, block. So the only... What we call the only... Uh, way for white to make progress is to play on this thing. To play making uh, making a pass pawn or creating the open file there lah because here the bishop will stay here lah and this pawn sort of like the pawn in the middle will just also stay like that so the rook cannot do anything if the what we call the pawn like that so here this is a uh, pretty difficult lah to to handle as a white also even though you have this material advantage it's very difficult to handle as a white also okay uh so bishop a6 Bishop a6. Okay. Uh, one one of the way to remove the bishop pair. For example, if let's say white to play and win. Uh, of course, white is winning here. But it's a little bit difficult lah to do. But one way to ease the the play is that white can sort of like try to uh, exchange this bishop. Because here now this uh, white bishop attacking this uh, pawn. So the king need to what we call to, to take care of that. And then you have this bishop d7. So at least now you have this what we call you have uh, you don't play against the double bishop uh, you take you take you take there and then at least you can go back here and at least it's much easier to play lah it's much easier to play when uh, your opponent doesn't have double bishop for example if I do null move here uh, insert null move uh, <coughs> okay let's say let's say I want to ins okay I take and then insert null move Let's say I do like this. Let's say do lah whatever. Like this. On oh, all oh, check. That's why I cannot do null move. So let's go here. And then go here. So the idea here now is white will go in front. Go in front. Go in front. And fix this position. And then move this king up. And then just go the root here. Go root here. Go root here. And coming in like that. So at least you have this plan. And easier when there are no double bishop from the black uh, point of view. So even though you are winning, you need to have a plan. How to make the penetration easy. The problem for right now is that he cannot penetrate easily. Okay. Okay. Now it's uh, 10, uh, 10. So uh, Mizan maybe a little bit later. Eh? So I will continue a little bit uh, yet uh, with the, what we call this uh, Faiz uh, Khalid game. Okay. So, so, but in the game, uh, in the game, in the game, yeah, this thing. So why? In order to win, white need to have a plan or so. Cannot easily win just like that. Even though you have white have this extra advantage of a piece or a rook even. Because there are no open file. You need to create an open file. One way is just to go down and just just sort of like exchange one of the bishop to make this plan easy to conduct lah. But in the game, uh, white play uh, a6. This is what happened in the game. And then let's say we go straight away. So go, go. Go, 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 just move, just move, just move, just move, just move, just move here, just move, just move, just move. So I just move, okay. So basically, this mistake lah when you, when you, what we call, and then this, this just like what happened in the, in the game lah. So you just give this pawn for free and you just go, whatever, uh, like, um, here, uh, Faiz said that he have less time lah. So you see, even though you have the extra rook, it's very difficult to play against the double bishop. Eh? Very difficult. I mean, to win also is difficult. Even though now uh, white is threatening something here, but this uh, what we call this knight is there hanging. So if this knight is protected, then checkmate there lah. Okay. Uh, but uh, what we call? But here uh, white is attacking the bishop and then go to bishop g h two. Uh, root b7 here and this is basically you just need lah you just give the knight for free again lah so you you give the knight so 
yeah the, the good thing is to play this thing uh, root g2 for white to play root g2 okay you might say that oh the knight you hang the knight but of course i also what we call attacking the bishop because remember if let's say this knight is protected then you have this checkmate on this g uh, b2 okay if the knight is protected then you have the checkmate there but the knight is now is not protected so you need to do something to protect the knight to protect the knight but in order to protect the knight this pawn must move now the pawn cannot move because of uh, because of what we call the bishop there because they are bishop on the what we call g2 here so you cannot push the pawn there so that's why the move of this root g2 the root g2 at uh, try to move to to let the bishop go somewhere lah. so for example the bishop go here then you can do before now the king is really in this what we call in this uh, mating net if you take with the bishop then the mat still mat still the the mating cannot be uh, prevented lah you cannot prevent the mat now okay so that's why here there are reason why uh, Faiz play bishop g2 lah at least now you do, uh, white cannot go in front lah and also now this uh, king attacking the knight so that's why the best way for the white is just to play rook g2 harassing that bishop so that if this bishop goes somewhere then you can just do a lot of thing lah a lot of thing and so on lah. so sort of uh, stars okay and then i think and so on and again here root e5 and then here 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 also king a6 is basically a mistake because you can just simply uh, take the thing take the thing and then take the thing and then you have this king a6 and then rook take h5 and then rook uh, take h7 so here if you see here even though even though white have two rook and black have bishop and rook it's quite difficult it's winning yeah it's winning it's easy if you have engine but in practical play it's not easy this game to play this end game is not easy in practical play because black also have this uh pass pound and so on even though uh, white have pass pound but still it's not easy to to win this game lah i mean if you don't know the, the end game uh, related to that okay so it's uh, even though uh, sometimes when you do analysis the engine say oh this is like uh, plus minus uh, like a lot of i mean you have this clear advantage and so on remember in practical play everything is not so so easy eh? and so on of course there are some fault that is uh, that is not uh, there are some fault in the in the end game just now i mean when Faiz said there are fault between the this this what we call this rook this two rook here and here but remember when you are in less time even the fault like that you cannot see eh? you play less than 10 second one minute less than one minute you just play based on instinct so it's not like even though it's easy when you see during the anal analysis analysis but in practical play you need to consider the time trouble and so on so i can say that uh, faiz did a very good job in defending because remember faiz is one rook down but uh, still can defend uh, give a very stubborn defense uh, until the end uh, but unfortunately the time is not uh, on his nilah on his uh, side okay so i think that's it uh, for faiz and khalid game uh, one zero is a pretty complex game uh, and that's it for Faiz Khalid. So let's go for Mizan. Eh? Okay, so now uh, I will present my game also against Khalid. I play white and Khalid play black. Okay, so okay, so before this, this is my usual opening. Okay, he played e6. Okay, as like usual. So he prepared to catch into his bishop here. And I just continue with my setup. Okay. And then, uh, like we know, uh, Khalid usually move queen to e7, which is uh, what have been discussed before. This move is quite um, 
quite quite uh, I think this is uh, quite a mistake lah because uh, this queen uh, block his fish shop here so uh, this fish shop will take time to develop so that's why uh, I think uh, it's better for black to just um, to just develop his pieces okay, so I just uh, continue with my setup okay and then he check here so I think this check is uh, quite unnecessary because uh, it just gives me tempo to just develop my piece here. Because maybe he think that if I didn't careful here, if I lock with my bishop here, so he can take my pawn here or here. But I can just simply actually uh, move my knight here, block uh, this uh, check. And also at the same time, um, prevent, uh, protect and protect this um, uh, this point here. So, uh, and in fact, actually, I I quite uh, actually okay. Actually, this give me tempo lah to just develop uh, my piece easily because normally if uh, if he doesn't check here, so I still can I still will uh, move my knight here, protecting this um, this point. So he move here. Uh, Injin said that it's quite inaccurate. I'm not sure why, because maybe because I can just push here and then it takes, takes and his knight uh, need to move. Uh, need to move. So uh, that's why I think like, I think this is, uh, that's why it's inaccurate. So uh, I, did would, I didn't want to push yet because uh, my, uh, my setup didn't settle yet. So I just Play this because I want to protect this uh, point. Because let's say if he takes, so then I I cannot take back because my uh, bishop here will be in danger. So I don't want to exchange my bishop with uh, his knight because uh, my bishop is quite powerful here. So that I want to prevent that. That's why I push here, push to e three, protect my uh, point. Okay, and then suddenly. Uh, black move knight to a5, which is I think is questionable move. Uh, maybe he uh, he wants to he try to uh, attack my point here. He wants to attack, uh, attack my point here, but I can simply just push a3. So he need to uh, go back. His queen need to go back, and this gives me another tempo to push uh, to b4 to attack his knight. So his knight need to go back. So, uh, so uh, at the same time, I can open this, uh, this, this, this space for my bishop to go here and uh, just develop my bishop lah. Okay, so he move here and then I just co uh, continue with my plan. Okay, and then he castle, he castle to a uh, queen side, also castling. Okay, actually, uh. When I played white as white, actually I'm uh, uh I'm quite happy lah if my opening uh castle to queen side because uh the idea for this opening this Catalan opening is to break the queen side. So when he castle uh at least I my pawn is already uh attack this side. So I just continue attack. Okay, I I move here my queen here. Because uh, my plan is just to control, to prepare for control this file. Of course, it's not open yet, but later on, uh, my plan is just to push here, or maybe if he takes, I just take. So that's what uh, that's my plan. Lah. Okay, so he start to attack my king side. So I just uh, okay, I just uh, continue with my plan to break the side. Because uh, I want to push this point here, but before that. I push B5 because I think that if I push uh, this point here, if I push this point here, so uh, uh, black, uh, black can just push his point. So I want to prevent that. I That's why I push uh, B5 point before I push this C5. And then he move uh, knight to A5. Okay, and then uh, I double because I preparing to to against to push this point. So if it takes takes, so I already get the uh, file lah. 
Okay, so he move here. Okay, and then I push, continue with my plan. Just push there. Okay, and he ignore it. Okay, so I just uh, move my bishop here because I want to attack this uh, knight. Because uh, this knight is, uh, because if uh, this knight uh, didn't move, so I can just take here. And if he takes, so uh, his structure here is uh, already break, already broken. Lah. So uh, he moved his knight here. Okay, even he moved his knight here, so I can just take. So I can just take, and he takes, because I want to open this diagonal. Okay, the diagonal, because at the moment, uh, this point block uh, this diagonal. So when I take, so uh, okay, this open the diagonal. And in fact, I think that this point, this point uh, can be captured later on. Okay. So then I move here, bishop to b4. Actually, I uh, foreseeing uh, he's to, to take my point here. If he doesn't take or if he doesn't move anywhere, I can just here and attacking his queen there. Okay. At the same time, uh, I attack this point here. And then he takes, he takes, uh, okay, he takes, when he takes, he already break his structure here. So that's what I want. So okay, I just take here. Okay. okay, engine suggests me to take with this point, D point here. But I think uh, during the game, I think that if I take with this point, so I sort of giving his, uh, giving black uh, the open file. So I don't want like, I don't want that to, uh, okay, I don't want that in the game. So I just, that's why I just take with uh, this bishop, attacking this uh, queen. And at the same time, I attack this one here. Okay, but I didn't rely, I didn't expect that he can move here, attacking also attack my, uh, this, this point. I can just move here and attack here. But I just simply, okay, simply capture that. Okay, and then he also captured. Uh, at this point also, engine suggests me to take with this point, this point here. Maybe I think because uh, because I can use that point to uh, to to break the structure, the this point structure. Maybe maybe that's that's what I think lah. But during the game, I I still didn't want to uh to take with this point because I don't want to give this open file to black. So that's why I take with uh queen, which is quite inaccurate. Actually. Okay, so he moved his uh, king here to protect this point. And I just proceed, I just push because my plan is just to break this uh, queen side. Okay, so he okay, he wants to exchange. Okay, at that moment, uh, during the game, okay, I don't want to exchange actually because uh, what I think is I have I already have advantage. Uh, so I don't want to exchange uh, the pieces. So I move here because I want to I want to prevent uh, black from exchange, okay, but it's quite inaccurate. Okay, I'm not really sure why it's inaccurate here. And then he start to move here, okay, and then uh, I push. The idea here is actually during the game I won because like I was said before, my plan is to to break this queen side. Okay, I try to just try to break. That's why I push. I push uh, my point here. Right, it's not to be, it is in, inaccurate lah. Okay, and then he push. Okay, suddenly, because actually, uh, I already, uh, what, what I said, uh, because I tried to exchange because when I recalculate, I realized that, oh, I have one extra point. So why not? Uh, I just play easy game lah, play simple game. Uh, go to end game and the end game might be favor me lah. Okay. okay, so that's why that's what I think lah. That's why I think because I don't want to play uh, complicated game. I just want to go to simple game. So that's why I decide to uh, exchange everything. But it is actually a mistake actually. Okay, and then he takes. Okay, I take. Okay. okay, and then uh, I move this because I try to push this. Try to push, try to break this. Okay, but 
Okay, but he takes, takes, and then uh, knight in here. And then I try to double because I sort of having the semi-open file. So I try to control this file. And then uh, he also try to uh, protect this and also try to double this one here. And the, uh, double this uh, root here. Okay, so uh, at this moment, I didn't, uh, I still aware that this, if uh, he double his root here, he cannot uh, go here because of my bishop there. So I didn't uh, really care about that. Okay, and then, because uh, my plan is just to play a simple game, I want to exchange everything. So that's why I move here, uh, uh, hoping that he will take exchange and I take exchange, I just play exchange, exchange, I just uh, go to end game like easily. So he double and I just take, just take. Okay, this is where I think uh, my, big, my, my first biggest mistake like I think. Because I didn't, actually I didn't expect that he can take with his knight. So he fought my uh, rook and he also can get my point. So actually, instead of uh, exchange, maybe I can just push this one first. Like right? this exchange. Okay, and then when he takes with knight, okay, he, uh, he attacked my rook and also my uh, pawn here. So I think I don't want to lose pawn. I want to maintain my, uh, my advantage having extra pawn. So that's why this move, okay, I see that. I move to C6 because I think that, okay, is, uh, he takes my point. So I will take also uh, his point here. Okay. So I forgot that this, uh, his root can go here, check, and my uh, root here is uh, free lah if I take. And then he takes, uh, I just, okay, he takes without taking any longer time. I just take because uh, this uh, aim, uh, my, uh, my, my, my plan is just to go to end game. So I just, okay, just take because I want to maintain my advantage of having extra point. And then suddenly, okay, suddenly go here. And then I just realize now everything, everything is, uh, I uh, have been disadvantaged lah. So I just continue because uh, I just continue because I think that yeah, I play with human. So maybe he he also tend to make mistakes. So I just continue, just continue. And until here, okay, he tried to ask, maybe try to exchange or what. But I uh, actually during the game, I see this move actually. I see this move here. Pinning. But I'm not really sure uh, either it is the best move or not because uh, because I already uh, down one piece. So I I try to keep my knight actually because I think that maybe later on this knight can fall or white. So that's why I just, I didn't move here. I just move there. Okay, so I think until here only, but until, until here only, yeah, because the rest is just mystery. Okay, I think only here. Thank you. Okay, so this feedback on Mizan and Khalid game. Uh, so as usual, Khalid will play his opening uh, and so on. This I will not discuss because Mizan already discussed that. Blah, 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 blah. I want to discuss uh, starting from here. Okay, so if you look here, uh, we have seen like a lot of Khalid game and Khalid use this setup the, the common setup that she he use if we as I said before this setup the problem is not the setup the problem is this uh, queen okay this queen cause this bishop uh, cannot move and so on when this bishop cannot move this what we call this rook also cannot really move and also one another problem with the Khalid setup is that this there are no occupation occupation on what we call on the center here so they are like the ability for the opponent to push forward and we see a lot of player a lot of you by playing Khalid 
don't push forward okay if you push forward then the 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 advantage the Khalid advantage will be disappear uh, very much because most of you allow Khalid do this thing D5 once Khalid get this D5 then it's okay lah for, for him so the only way to sort of like to punish early on Khalid is to use this like unoccupied space there so that's one thing but here we can see that uh, what we call white already have this attack position here I mean it's already have the pawn is far advanced in fact this is the game where where white have really large uh, advantage already because it's real already prime for attack here the the pawn already uh, on this like fourth rank already on this fourth rank uh, other games the pawn still in the second rank and so on so we can say in this game white have a very huge advantage already lah okay let's see so now uh, Khalid play like this and then queen c2 and so on okay so here attack 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 uh, attack root fc1 root fc1 okay whenever you play against Faketo here the the best way to normally uh, yesterday we we talked about how to break this bishop right how to in Khalid and uh, Khalid and Faiz game we see how we can break this bishop how to break the defense of this bishop by tripling uh, on this what we call on this where some, somehow tripling here and then take with the rook and then check somewhere in the back so that's one way if you have the uh, knight somewhere somebody here blocking this pawn move then the way how to break this knight is two ways either you attack this knight normally by bishop like this or you push away you push uh, the pawn forward because when you if this take like this then this knight is quite shaky so much easier to what we call to attack the knight later on and also here what we call you have what we call you have this uh pound uh duo there it's much easier lah to uh, to what we call if let's say you take this and then you have this thing and now everything is right for attack down this file okay sometimes you give a pound for free because you want the file so yeah if that's what we call the positional sacrifice and so on this the position is very bad for black lah you we can say that the attack we play by itself you know who want who can uh, prevent this right and then you double there and so on the knight also doesn't have anywhere to go so it's very very what we call very very overwhelming attack can be done just by what just by pushing this pawn forward okay so whenever you you see this Faketo, the attack normally the one that you often see is you push this push this forward push this forward but remember the c pawn also can do that the c pawn also can move forward and break the pawn structure so remember that a pawn the one that done by a pawn also can be done right with the c pawn okay so that's one thing so let's go so in the game um what we call uh, white doesn't push forward yeah push but later lah like this okay still push still good uh h5 uh khalid also make his counter attack the typical counter attack and then bishop c5 bishop c3 like i said before one way to break this knight is to also attack the knight to shatter the uh, pawn cover lah knight c4 take take and then bishop b4 okay bishop take this thing uh, because you uh black uh white what we call threaten to do this thing and then need to take and then here um uh what we call in the game in the presentation mizan said that he doesn't want uh, she doesn't want to take with this because it's allow this uh, this root have this open file but remember by taking this by taking with the pound you also allow yourself having this square for the knight so this is what we call the conversion of the advantage you you convert your advantage of of something for example you you convert you uh, some advantage to others for example like this you want to the idea is to go this to this square which is dominating square from this square you can go here it's very dangerous if let's say later on if you go here the bishop take the bishop here then the light square on this uh, king position will be very weak lah very easy to 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 go forward lah so the good thing is to take with the uh, c5 lah uh, but it's okay uh, bishop take c5 like this here and then queen take c4, uh, c4 bishop takes this thing again here the best thing is this the best thing is d takes c5 it's more convincing because at least white have planned 
what have plan the idea is that the idea is that white have this what we call this uh this move that that what we call the the centralization move white doesn't need to be afraid about this because if the bishop is exchanging not only uh white black position also quite ni lah quite bad lah quite not really uh because remember without the bishop here the knight can easily go here check uh, check or whatever lah do all st sort of stuff lah okay so even though you, you can do like this or even though black can do like this but yeah just take you can just take and then whatever then still you have this this what we call you can maybe you take with this you cannot take with this because you give a free pound so maybe you take with this thing but you can see you have like this ready for attack and this you have this square which is very strong lah there are a lot of stuff and you go here you can even take that straight away lah because you attack the uh, rook and then you take this thing and then you get all the tempo so yeah that's one thing that's why uh d take c5 is good because you give the knight the the, the square okay Okay, so now in the position, uh, white take with the queen and then uh, what we call, <coughs> so let, let me see again. For example, let's say, let's say here, uh, if let's say uh, black take uh, the pound, let's say the black try to sort of like try to exchange the queen. So you don't, remember, you're not obliged to take the queen eh? in this case because they are not checked yet. You can, ju can just go to king a4 and this, don't afraid about this because you can always go here, right? So you cannot really checkmate that because the knight can always go back here and then the bishop will be gone, okay? So, and then let's say now uh, the, the king goes to this b8 and then you have the c6 to block the bishop and also now this queen also can uh, under the, ni lah, under the, what we call, under the fire now bishop a8 and then and d4 and then you are really really dangerous lah because this can go here can go here and can go here check and all sort of stuff can happen lah so that's the one of the thing the reason why uh, you take with the pound is much better lah where's the thing here okay okay so now queen b8 and then a4 blah 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 queen c3 okay here in this here uh, oh Mizan said that she doesn't want to exchange because of yeah she doesn't want to exchange she doesn't want to exchange but you can just simply go here okay seeming like you are giving this bishop right you but it's okay if if both bishop is exchanged uh, for example let's say this take this this take this and then you take with the bishop yeah, this is clear, clear, ni lah, clear win, whatever. I mean, because this pawn is weak, this pawn also, this pawn is weak, this pawn is weak, this pawn also is weak, and nothing can happen yet on this this a file. Lah. Okay, so if yeah, uh, to preserve the peace is okay, uh, but here is much better to just let the thing exchange because you already have like what up what the one advantage in pound okay in the position a black pay here and a4 h5 and then uh, what we call and then mizan thing oh i i already realized that i have this extra pound so i just want to offer the exchange again ha. so just buang masa lah just waste the time here there but here is different ah previously is different now the difference between now and previous is that now white pound black pound is already here already here in the what we call in the vicinity of a uh, king uh, position okay so here uh, the, the best way now is not to allow the exchange the, the best way here is to what we call to push d5 okay seem very dangerous seem very like uh, what is this the the idea for this is that if you take with the uh, pound then you have this knight before the very what we call very uh, dominating knight so no go lah if you take with the bishop then you can pin the thing okay at least the queen need to go somewhere okay some somewhere and then you have this very very powerful exchange sacrifice okay you might say oh root for the bishop why because remember if you take with this pound 
you have this ND4 again, this bishop now is very strong because no one, no one can sort of like uh, challenge this bishop because you see the weakness of this, uh, what we call this uh, black position is the light square. And now white have this light square bishop and yeah, this at least this have a lot of advantage can, can attack and so on lah. So now the, the, the immediate threat is check lah, the, the thing and so on. So if let's say the rook coming in, you can have this thing and then you have, let's say you go here and then you still have this, what we call check and so on lah. Uh, <coughs> so there are a lot, if you go here, if you go here, so it's just uh, uh, goes under this bishop fire lah. Some, anything can happen later on. At least uh, black need to take take somehow somewhere lah. So is yeah. okay. So so that's the thing. So now you offer the exchange and then take the difference now is that uh, if let's say you take with the queen, then uh, black have time to take with the check or take here with the check. So you have also a black also have extra a pound also lah. So you don't have the extra pound lah. So but uh, in the game, uh, white take. And then nf7, and then root ab1, root ab1, queen c5, take here, take here, take here, go here, go here, go here. Oh, so this is uh, quite bad lah. Uh, I mean, uh, as Mizan said, this is better lah because it preserves this pawn. Because if you, uh, this knight can go somewhere here lah to, what call, to attack the rook and also the pawn there. So yeah, bishop d5, and then nd2, and then this is okay lah. This still okay. This okay, but in the game, uh, black uh, white play this straight away. Uh, still not a mistake here, and this is a mistake because you give the pawn for free lah. You get you get this rook, and then you give the pawn for free, and this is blunder lah. This is a blunder because you get this, you get free rook. By right, this already like lost lah. Uh, for for okay, for black. But uh, when you are playing in the game, uh, just just play lah. Just just don't resign yet because at least now you have who knows that you can fork like Mizan said. Who knows you can fork, uh, and also now uh, what we call white suddenly have this like a pound mass on the queen side, on the king side, on the king side. It might not be able to win, but at least it make a uh, black to uh, mind to sort of like diverted. Okay, if there is no pound mass on this king side, then black can just easily use his extra rook to support his pawn and push forward. But because they are like pound masses uh, on the board uh, for white and this only just one four pound against this one pound, then is uh, can make this black uh, think twice lah before pushing uh, without thinking. Okay, so now. Uh, so this is, I just go quick here blah 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 blah, blah. just quick 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 because this is not interesting quick 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 go. I just want to show until uh, whatever this thing blah 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 blah, blah. okay until here okay uh, there, there are a lot of thing lah uh, here here there are a lot of thing but I want just to show something from here okay you can see now the pound mass the what what pound masses uh, start to seems uh, quite threatening now okay seems like quite threatening uh, but before that i want to go here first huh? i want to go here root b8 okay root b8 okay here before we go there okay now this is a root end game uh, root end game is quite tricky it's because now you see the white pound also nearer to the screening even though black have this two what we call two rook white also have his own like uh, diversion the pound here can be very dangerous lah so here how black want to sort of like prevent this pound from from moving forward in the game Khalid play root b8 this just give take for free okay now that three pound looks very dangerous before this at least before that before uh, black play this uh, root b8 at least this rook must always need to take care of this pawn. Okay. Uh, yeah, the pawn always can go forward there. 
But now when Khalid play this mistake, then just give another pawn, right? You just give another pawn. Black is still winning though. This position, black is still winning. It's not like black is lost because you know one rook is big. One rook advantage is big. It's not enough this this extra pawn, even though it's near to this, what we call near to this queen square, it's not enough to win against two rook because it's easily defendable. Okay. Uh, so the, the what what the best move for the what we call for the for the black here in order to preserve his advantage his advantage is this pawn okay because this pawn will be di diverting the white rook so somehow black need to preserve that and also at the same time uh, what we call look after this pawn so the best way is just simply go king get yeah, king there lah if you put yeah uh, if you put the rook here uh, so that this will be supported then just go to what to check you have check and then you have this uh, maybe go here and then you have this check there okay check there and then king cannot king cannot uh, the pawn cannot push forward lah because the king is in front of the pawn and then rook h5 and then you you threaten the checkmate so somehow there lah uh, checkmate or winning the 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 rook okay so this that's why even though the the position here seems uh, black is totally winning but remember this pawn this tiny pawn can divert the black uh, black uh, army lah so like in this game in the practical game you can see that uh, black is making this mistake bishop uh, rook uh, to b8 because this pawn already does his job to divert a black army so that's why when you have this pawn extra pawn even though you are down a piece, just keep playing because who knows that this pawn will divert your uh, enemy, uh, open your opponent uh, piece lah, extra piece and so on. Uh, so let's say we go here, we go here, we go here, we go here, and so until here. Okay, now, now this pawn is protected by this rook. This rook try to push forward this pawn, but of course now is what we call this pawn also cannot move because it's pin, it's pin. Okay, it's pin. So now, the question now, the let me remove the color first. Remove all the color. Um, black is still winning, but how to win? That's question. Even though you have extra piece, not pound, eh? extra rook. Delete, uh, what we call delete color commentary. How black should win here? How black should win this position? This is good. I mean, uh, sometimes this is the time where where player become what we call tired because there are a lot of you have player like what this is move 57 already so a lot of time have been uh, used and uh, everybody is tired and so on that's why studying end game especially root end game is very important because root end game come at the end when you are tired if you are not sure about this how to play this root end game then you will waste a lot of more time to think and remember uh, when you are tired, you have more tendency to make mistake uh, compare when you make mistake during the opening because when you play in the opening, you are still fresh but in the end game, you are already tired and so on so you are uh, become complacent so you need to know if you have like good grips of this uh, end game technique especially root end game, then you can uh, use that to your advantage here, how to win? if you are black, how to win here? Okay, uh, in the game, in the position, uh, black play king f8. Okay, king f8 still winning but make thing more difficult lah. So, in order to win, when you have extra piece, you need to divert uh, your enemy piece lah. So, the, the, the this will win easily lah. Will win easily. Uh, you use this, uh, your own pawn. Maybe this is dangerous. You, you may say that this is dangerous but you cannot push right. Because it's pin. Okay. So now let's say you uh, white do the same, okay? White do the same. E4, same also. The, the, if let's say the white play E4 also will be the same result also. If let's say white play G4, now you have this. Take, you take, you take, you take. And then C4. Now this is in the square here. So you cannot, uh, this king cannot, what we call cannot, what we call cannot, cannot run and touch this uh, this pound and this pound need more time 
because now it's a uh, black black turn to move a uh, white turn to move one two three four but for black you have list one two three okay so it's much uh, faster lah so for example here here go here go and uh, no no you you don't go you just ni lah you just you just block lah block the pawn and then it's easy because now if let's say a uh, white want to divert this king using this pawn then it take more time to go there then you get queen first so this what we call conversion of the what we call conversion of the advantage okay uh, to the pawn end game it seems easy when you see it but when you play in practical game it can be it's not so easy to see in practical game okay so so here uh, the idea for black to win is to use his own pawn to push forward lah and then divert uh, convert into the pawn end game because this king uh, black king can easily defend eh? it takes time for this two pawn going forward okay? it takes time this extra pawn here will uh, march uh, first lah so you this king f8 still not uh, losing uh, yeah of course black is not losing anyway but still doesn't make life difficult lah so e4 uh, now pawn start rolling eh? rook b4 so here in the game uh, black play this still the the the, the game the, the winning is still c5 the, the same idea as before eh? but of course here you cannot real uh, here you just take lah you just take and then you win easily lah because if you have this rule h4 remember you have this checkmate ah you be careful lah checkmate and then you can just go here and then rook h8 and then king d7 uh, still this pawn cannot be moving because of the pin so that's why that pin is very important eh? okay so rook b4 here rook b4 so Khalid should play c5 but uh, he play rook b4 still winning it's not bad king f5 rook d6 now rook d6 okay I mean here king f7 is easier lah just protect and prevent the pawn from ni lah it much easier lah and now it's also threatened to take here okay so rook d6 and then g4 and now you can see the pawn mizan pawn start rolling up king f7 g5 oh, now it start now the the the, the position start look uh, quite quite possible for white to win eh? The, but still the position is still winning for the black even the pound even white pound uh, looks threatening black still have advantage as he can always as i said uh, as we can see before uh, black can always sacrifice one rook he have extra rook right he can always sacrifice one rook and then use this pound forward okay so that that's one of the nilah uh, in the game the now it's start of the comedy of error lah comedy of error so here black play in the game black check this this is a blunder eh? this is a blunder because why because it just allow white to push his pawn forward just just helping white in the game black play this in the game black play this this is a yeah, of course why don't you just push this thing now this this is very hard to push this thing the good the the, the best way is to push that thing now the position is draw the position is 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 drawish because the pound the, this three pound is already near enough now it's become real 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 threat lah uh, white at least now can have a draw because you have this let's say the the, the what we call the rook go there you check you can check and then king f8 and then g7 you can see how threatening that pound can be king f7 and then you that you just what we call you just uh, go here lah because this pawn is still pin lah still pin still pin so uh, white doesn't have time to support remember this pawn is attacked by two two rook so he need to sort of like to to prevent that thing so if let's say this pawn only one rook uh, one rook is there then it's easy for white to just win by putting this uh, rook there lah now white is winning lah but because the rook here is attacking this pawn then the white need to just cover and then black can just move this rook here and there here and there here and there because he cannot allow this pawn also move forward so in fact here is 
it is black that is really uh, won the draw. Okay, so so that's the the ni lah, the 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 mistake in the game. Uh, white run away from the pawn. The the best way is to move right. Okay, so how actually how how because this check is because here this check is bad right before this check uh, as we can see in the game black play this check allowing white if white no he can push forward only and secure the draw at least lah at least draw at least a draw but now if this position how actually how let me remove the color commentary how actually uh, what we call black can win from this position okay so here we know that this pawn is what we call want to move forward and very intimidating now it's very it's not easy eh? it's not easy for black to find the move here even though he is a rook up it's not easy uh, but the the correct move is not check here because it just let the pawn cover the correct move is be because of this pawn here it's already want to threaten to go forward you need to put the the rook uh, down lah you need to go rook d1 to the threat is to go here lah and just to stop the pawn okay uh, let's say G g6 check and then king f8 let's say check again king f7 and then let's say rook g4 in order to push this to win you have this rook f1 you have this rook f1 and then you can ni lah win lah because if you go here then you can just they, they are very easy lah i mean you can here you can just what we call take there or even check or whatever because this cannot go forward lah cannot go forward you can even take this thing even though you have this thing but still yeah still this, this is a uh, quite drawish lah. this is quite drawish but uh, you you just check and then you can do uh, here you can maybe check here whatever and at least you get a pound lah or you can just do here you can at least get a pound but you check first lah because if you go here then this thing will be ni lah so you can just uh, just check and then goes away and then only then you can you can just take the pound later on okay so so that's the thing so so you move to the back even though the pound is since threatening so the way how normally when you when you are facing a pound advance the best way of defense is not defense i mean that in this case black is winning is to go behind the pound okay even if you have a pound you normally you the rook is behind the pound okay it's uh, already 11 uh, let me go a little bit uh, here just here 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 okay in fact actually there are a lot of uh interesting stuff lah in this end game okay um for example let's say here let's say here uh the question now in this game uh, this happened uh, the question now uh, the the king already there so the question now this pawn is free will you take or will you not take uh, so that's the question if you take which rook do you take this do you take this pawn or do you take the red pawn if let's say you take the red pawn which rook you will take do you take with this rook or you will take this this rook so all this small matters but can make a big difference because as i said if you make a mistake in the opening normally you can uh you can what we call you can you can correct it because one mistake in the opening is still okay but if you make mistake in the end game or in the middle game then normally it's no go lah for example here in the game you get this thing okay uh black played it this thing this thing and this thing it seems like similar but it's totally different this thing in the game allow white to draw okay allow white to draw okay but this thing allow black to what we call allow black to win it's just a different here you take here you take with the, that rook you take with that rook so which one you take uh, this rook or this rook make a big difference eh? in the game this happened okay because you have this check and of course of course king a6 uh, you go what we call you can go what we call you can go king 
and you can go king e6 and so on i mean this you need to this need to go somewhere because if not you have check and so on you you need to take lah uh, but uh, in the game yeah because this is a blunder lah because you have this uh, what we call root f4 root f4 and then you uh, in the game you check lah you check uh, the reason why this blunder because when you check the king can go support his pawn okay support this pawn and also the rook also support this pawn so that's why it's blunder but here uh, when you do like this when, when you what we call when you do root f4 okay this king cannot really go inside yet because uh, if let's say this go uh, the, the what we call the pawn move here okay then you have this root h4 check and then the king cannot go to the h7 and if you go here even you get checkmate straight away okay so that's even just one move make a difference here uh, the correct move is to take with the uh, another rook because if you check here <coughs> you check here you have this uh, king f8 and even though the pawn here, the pawn here seems threatening, uh, seems threatening, uh, but black got this checkmate, uh, got this checkmate thing. Because if you go here, and then you check, and king can go here, and then if you let, so for example, king s7, you have this uh, rook h5 checkmate. Uh, but if let's say this goes to uh, f8, and then if rook take, and then you rook take, then here, uh, this two pound, even though it's already threatening, but the king is not in front it, and also black king is in front it, so it's easy to defend that. And remember, you have another pound uh, on the c. You just sacrifice the rook there, and then this pawn, uh, the king is not able to nila. You can play around with the rook first, and then make everything stuck, and then you move the uh, the pawn forward. So basically, this is a. Uh, the, the what we call the the end game uh, in the game actually uh, there are a lot of mistakes actually in the game uh, if I may uh, just I'll show you there are a lot of what we call the the comedy of blunder you can see here this is blunder and then the uh, Mizan make a blunder again and then you have this blunder again and then you have blunder again uh, and then whatever lah so basically uh, it costs that's why I can uh, we say that in end game blunder in end game is very very what we call very very dangerous lah. Where is my face? Where is my face? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me put here. Oh, I don't put start video. That's why I don't see myself. Okay, let me open myself first. Let me pin myself. What? How I put the thing? Uh, open this thing so let me pin okay so uh basically that is the game lah that is the game why why is this happen okay okay so basically uh that's the game uh mizan and uh my feedback on mizan halik game uh, so mizan you can uh study that game especially the end game part lah because that root end game uh normally happen a lot in in, in your game lah uh so i think that's it for today um uh, we end our class today with recitation of uh, Tasbih Kafarah and Suratul As.